Hello everybody, I'm GTG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to take a look at creating a percentage based item pool. So for those of you who are wondering what is an item pool? Well it's actually just a collection of items, in our case item stacks and we're gonna uh, add a percentage of chance to every a single item and then we're gonna pick one from the list, let's say uh, one with 50% chance and one with uh, 40 and one with 10 and then we're gonna check which item is gonna be because the one with the 50% is of course five times more common than the one with the 10%. Okay, so how do we create this? Uh, as you can see, I've already started up a new plugin and it's called item pool with meta.gh.pool.itempool as main. And I've already registered listeners to this class. You can also do it on a separate class, but since this is a little trick and not actually a full plugin um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it in the main over here it saves me trouble so we of course need to do an event handler because I would like to call the event on player opens inventory and let's say inventory open event and just give it the name e just like that and then import Event handler control shift O the most useful shortcut in Eclipse. I do not know if it's in IntelliJ as well, but never mind. So on player opens inventory, we're gonna fill that with a couple of things. We first need to get the player, it'll get player, and as you can see it will return a human entity. You can see that over there. Human entity, so we're gonna need to cast that to a player. Like that. And course implement that so next thing we will have to do is of course create some kind of random mechanism well you could go and look and how to create those yourself but don't there's just actually a random I'm just gonna call it ram a random variable type kind of variable type new random it's like a class in which you can ask for random so you're gonna implement that that's the java.util.random and what you can do is actually um, do int chance, so that's the, the choice, I mean int choice, equals random dot next int. And we're going to give it a percentage of, uh, a, a limit of 100, so it's going to return an int between 0 and 100, uh, but it's in between. So 0 is still included, but 100 is like the max, so it can't go, it's, it's either 0 or 99, that are the maximum and the minimum values. So we're gonna add one to that, so that we never get a zero, but we get one to a uh, hundred. Okay, what we want to do now is create three item stacks. I can, I'm just going to do three. You can do whatever amount you want. So this is gonna be item one. It's just gonna be a new item stack with material dot apple. Really simple and then implement that and copy import it it's not implemented it's import then copy it then do item 2 uh, item 2 is gonna be a golden apple and the last item is gonna be item number 3 which is gonna be a carrot and mind if you want to do carrots you need to do carrot item not just carrot it will re not return you anything it will just give you a no error, it will just do nothing. So what kind of percentages do I want to apply to these? I want to apply a 50% chance towards the apple, a 10 per, uh, let's make it 60, a 10% chance on the golden apple, and then if you count, it's like 60 plus 10 is 70, so there's only 30% left. And that's 30% chance. And now to actually code the random, it's actually quite simple because what we can do is we can check if choice is below 60. So if it's uh, below the 60 uh, type, below 60%, and aka if it's between 60 and 0. So if it's 100, 0 and 60 will be 60% of the time. Of course, it's not always 60% because you would need to have a lot of data a lot of times try to get it into a near 60% that's how randoms work or at least uh, chance calculations work like that so in here we're gonna do p.get inventory 
dot add item and then we're just gonna add item one and then else because if it's not below 60 which means it's above 60 if choice is below 70 then we want to do peter get inventory dot add item item low score 2 and otherwise we just want to do L so if it's above 70 now we just want to give the player inventory dot add item item number 3 and the fact why I don't get the inventory uh, in a variable because then we need to set the inventory of the player again which is uh, only comp making the code more complicated which is not useful for now so that's actually it for the coding it's really that simple to do an item pool with uh, person test based chances and let's go check it out on the server see you over there so we're inside minecraft now i've started up the server and let's go take a look at what we have created so i've already set up a little chest over here and if you know uh, how the event works it will not trigger the on open inventory event it will not trigger when you open your inventory in creative uh, so i place down a chest and uh, yeah let's go take a look at our percentage based item pool so if i open the chest oh we got unlucky we got an apple and uh, we got an app golden apple on the second try it's only a 10 percent chance and then we got another apple another apple another apple another apple and as you can see it's not actually that the carrot we still didn't get any carrot although they got more here you see they got more percentage than um the golden apple so that's it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like if you want to see more. Subscribe if you got any feedback or suggestions. Go to the Discord or just do it in the comment section down below. And the Discord thing link, you can find it, by the way, in the description box. And that's it. See you next time. Bye.